Hey, what's up guys? It's been quite a while since I've actually had a video out. Um, I think it's been five weeks. Um, the Let's see, the first two weeks that I didn't have a video out, I'm not even sure why, except I think it was school. I had a lot of exams before spring break. And then, uh, second day into spring break, I had shoulder surgery. I had some of my clavicle taken off because I had some bone spurs and just some rub in there in the AC joint. So for a while, you know, I, I could type on a computer, but it wasn't very comfortable, uh, let alone hold a camera with two hands or set up a tripod. So I haven't had a video out for two weeks, kind of for that reason. Now on Twitter, I've been talking a lot about a video that I've been working on. I've been collaborating with a few guys. I'm doing most of the work, but you know, they're still participating in it. Um, I'm trying to find 30 plus people to tell me what advice they would give to their younger self. I, I want them to kind of, you know, share from their experience, but also to allow other people to uh, gain gain insight from what they wish they would have known. And then I want them to tell them why. Like, why, why do they think it's important that their younger self have that piece of advice? So I know it's been like five weeks since I had a video. I was gonna have a video out this weekend, but I'm not completely sure. Most likely you're just gonna see this blog, or vlog. I'm not sure I'm gonna continue doing vlogs or even start doing it. But uh, I do kind of like the idea of it. But it is kind of uh, socially awkward still. And um, I'm not sure if I completely have a lot to offer when it comes to vlogging, but we'll see. So not this weekend, but next weekend I promise you will have some sort of actual video. I'm currently working on a video that I think is pretty interesting and the title of it, just so you know, is Do I Really Need My Smartphone? Um, I've been taking a really strong look at um, just kind of what technology affects in my life, like what role it takes. Um, it, it kind of takes over and wastes a lot of time. Technology is supposed to make things easier, make them quicker, and what really has happened is all we care about now is our technology. We spend all our time on it instead of just using it to make our lives easier. So that's what this video is going to be about. Oh, is it bad? Only it's hard to find good, good healthcare, yeah. in the sense of like actual person-to-person -person healthcare. I'll definitely be aware of the fact, like when she's in, I'll try not to be back in the office shutting my phone. Is she an older lady? No, she's not. That's the thing. She's probably like early forties. So she's not just being cranky. She's just no, it's very just in general. Yeah, and I mean, she. It was the comment that the younger generation. She was it like, is sad. She said, eventually, she goes, we're just going to literally, like, employers are going to have to take their phones when they walk in the door. Well, I don't, I don't know if technology will actually ever get that far just because um, I don't know if employees are willing to, like, allow themselves to, like, they're going to be like, that's my liberty. That's my freedom. It's my right to have my phone. Yeah, but, I mean. It's not like they don't have rules that you can't have your phone on the job. Technically, we're not supposed to have our phones. Well, I mean, yeah, but the problem is, is stuff like that is always stretched, you know. It's all after, like, a month or so, you know, it starts getting looser. Exactly. But and the I mean, second that people start taking your phones, they're taking basically what a right for you to have. They're taking that away. We go through the same thing. We'll have meetings, you know, like, yeah, we need to be more attentive and we need to not use our phones so much and watch what we talk about like out in the clinic and then it's good for like a week or two and then we all fall back to the way I mean just kind of the way we do things. So we got here at the soccer field and I went to go look for my mom and what do you know she had already left um, but she left monies for me. My mom's got a nice focus. It's a really nice car. Oh monies! She left me monies, see? You know you have a real keeper when your mom leaves you $130. So uh, I currently live on Purdue's campus, basically. I have my own apartment, but it's, like I could throw a, I could throw a rock and hit a Purdue building. I mean, that's not a great idea, but I could. Um, um, so there's this bike shop that's right off campus, really nice shop, uh, it's been there for a while. And like I had said earlier, uh, we're actually going to get that bike I had looked at. It's a Trek. I only ride Trek since I was younger, uh, but it's been like 
seven years, basically, since I've ridden a bike. I do have a motorcycle. I have a Yamaha FZ09. I mean, it, it's a hell of a sporty bike, but I got on this bike just test riding it. It was my first time on a bicycle in seven years. I almost, like, fork not, or, uh, what is it called when you knife, uh, fork knife? Yeah, I almost jackknifed the bike. Uh, because I, the, the lack of resistance and the, uh, the handlebars was something I haven't hadn't felt in so long that it was like really weird. Uh, so I'll, we're gonna go hang out at the Union after I buy the bike, which is, is this awesome place at Purdue. They have a ton of restaurants. It's basically like one enormous like atmospherical coffee shop. It's pretty awesome. They actually do have coffee. Of course, there's a Starbucks. Every body and their sister at uh, Purdue has to have coffee. Okay. Motorcycle riders are very friendly. Believe it or not, like the guys that I've met, they love to talk, they love to chat. Oh, he's just on a little bitty ninja. The bike is weak, but it's cool. I started out on a ninja. You know, you should start out small. If you guys are, seriously, if you guys are considering a motorcycle, um, please, like whatever you do. I've had two accidents. Uh, my last one, they weren't awful, but they were bad, just parked it. I don't think anyone's gonna. No. Okay. Uh, my last accident was not, it wasn't awful, but I was still actually, well, my arm was out of commission for like two weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't use my right arm for two weeks because I basically fucked up all the nerve endings in my elbow and it just, I couldn't contract any of my muscles, anything like that in my arm. Um, just start with a smaller bike, like, really, and stick with it for. Please stick with it for a long time. It's really worth it. And I'm telling you what, like, I, I did take my time. Well, actually, I didn't take my time, but I did put in a lot of miles on a smaller bike before I went to a Yamaha R6. Sexy bike. It was silver. Um, but now I went to a, a more sportier bike that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, we're here at the bike shop. Guys, this is definitely the one I'm going to end up getting. It's a Trek Marlin. Um, here. I need to check something real quick. I have, I have 466 in my account. I don't know. 466. I like your flash shirt. I actually do like it. It fits really well. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm, I do a videography a oh, okay. lot. Uh, it's, I mean, I can turn it off. It's oh, you're fine. at all. Um, what I wanted to know is one thing that I hated about my last mountain bike that I had. Do you guys have any metal clips or metal, not not, not clip shoes, but just at least metal. Oh, pedals? Yeah, instead yeah, of plastic. This is, this is a good upgrade. I'll show you. I mean, I'm different. not wanting to honestly spend that much money. But if you go oh, to that's 20, not bad at all. If you go to 20 bucks, okay, spin that. That's aluminum with steel. This if you go with sexier. this one, no, yeah, it is sexy. looks better. Smooth yeah, steel yeah. bearing and all aluminum. Um, Will you, you guys put that on for off. free? Yeah. Uh, the tools that I used to have? Yeah, we'll put it on. Yeah. So you want to go with the black one? Oh, God, yes. Wait, what was the other color? Well, it's white, but I don't know if that, that might be a little bit too tall for you. What's your inseam on your jeans? My legs are long. What's your 33. inseam? 33. Uh, 33 is what I wear. 33, 34, depending on the Okay. Uh, let me see. I always one. have rode with my... I like the black one just because it's... You're not going to have to clean it. Yeah, but it doesn't show how muddy you get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stand just straddle the top too. You got plenty of clearance. Yeah, you do. Hop up on the seat. I'm look at you from the side. Spin this all the way around to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it still had that pretty good push. Yeah, there. you can go up a little bit. Just put your hands on there. Actually, that fits you pretty good. The 18 and a half. Yeah, you got more room in the cockpit. It's not that your legs are long; it's your torso. <laughs> I'm, I'm very big into, I lift a lot. I mean, yeah. I'm in the Marine Corps, so yeah. it's kind of that, but uh, I have the hardest time like equivalent my body out because I have such an awkward, I do, I like the black better anyway. You the black? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I would help you put that up, but different. I just had shoulder surgery. Sorry. What'd you have, rotator cuff? No, uh, my dad had three of those, so I thought that's what I was gonna be running into, but I'm lucky. I actually had some, a few inches taken off my clavicle. Oh, okay. Um, I had bone spurs and just, you know, some overall rubbing. Yep. Okay. And any other accessories? Um, no. no uh, okay. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to end up buying a helmet. Okay, you can go ahead and look at the helmets. Helmet. Oh, you don't want it right now? The helmet no, right I now. think I will. Okay, yeah, go ahead and look, look at them. I'll run this back and have them check it over. And... You think he felt awkward being on camera? I don't feel awkward at all. I mean, I'm the one who's on camera all the time. 
I know. Oh, but, oh, him. Yeah, him. Him. No, he actually seemed pretty chill. I know. He was pretty like, yeah, I don't care. It. Go ahead. Let's see. Where's the adjustment? <laughs> How much is that one? They're all, every single one here is 50, yeah. 50 bucks except for a few. Oh, that fits so perfect. Powering me up up here. Putting on cars like I really enjoy that for reason. Alright, so I'm gonna pay with that. Alright, what's up guys? We uh, got to Purdue. We're at the Union. Um, we're at Pappy's right now because Aubrey needs something to eat. We're gonna have a laptop work party. That's my new hashtag, by the way. It's pretty awesome. Did you steal it from somebody? I didn't. He actually calls his a, uh, a laptop. Yeah. Guys, what is up with this? It looks so good. Look at this, babe. Look how clean your sandwich looks. Right? It looks so good. So this is obviously our first day ever at vlogging, but we had both kind of, you know, we've been on camera before. Uh, she's always been there when I did all my videos, so uh, we're actually pretty used to it by now. Um, so it's not awkward at all, but I still, you know, kind of feel weird about going up to buy food or things like that with the camera on, you know, like pointing at them because people are like, like, hey. What are you, why are you recording me? And um, I'm not sure what the walls are in Indiana. Obviously, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. You know, sometimes people are just cool with it. Sometimes they aren't. She's over here just pounding away if you can hear it at the ketchup. I'm not getting anything out of it. So I, I, I have this new thing, guys. I like drinking two monsters at once because of the flavor difference. So I have like, okay, so I have like green and I have blue. It's and I just keep switching blue. back. Yeah, it's not the original blue, whatever no, that means. It's like cough. The original blue is like cough syrup. It's disgusting. It's the blue syrup. Cough syrup. All right, guys, we're leaving Pappy's. It's been like 25 minutes. Uh, I was looking at m mountain bike trails like the entire time that we were there. Sorry about that. It just got really chilly. And, uh,. I think we found a few places to go and get some footage uh, riding um, before we leave Lafayette because I have to go back to Kokomo for physical therapy uh, tomorrow. The tables are all dirty because college students don't know how to keep their shit clean. God, these are so loud. So basically we have to work out the script for the rest of the day. What's up guys? Uh, we've been working on this script for like probably 30-45 minutes. Uh, we've got one, two, three lines of the script done. Uh, we just spent a solid 15 minutes going over literally one single sentence. Just kind of perfecting it. It's basically, actually now that I think about it, really it's three sentences. That's it. With a lot of semicolons. If you know how to use semicolons, uh, it makes your writing look a lot better. To be honest, it doesn't really sound differently. Uh, it's just when people are reading it, you know, they kind of get the feeling that you know a little bit more about what you're talking about, or at least just how to write in general. But uh, we've got a pretty good script going so far. I'm thinking, you know, in these few lines, we probably have 30 30 or 40 seconds, uh, some really good stuff. Uh, we've been kind of just continuing working on this. Uh, we hope by probably two hours we'll be done. Hey, what's up guys? All right, so we're leaving. We spent about, what, we probably spent like two hours here? Two hours here. Um, we were waiting on her to eat for a few of them. We actually had a pretty good time. Um, to be honest, uh, like we got, we've got some really good work done. Um, we didn't finish. We actually didn't really get past more than like two or three scenes. But the whole idea of us spending all this time is because I want to produce better videos. And if that means I have to spend a lot more time working on them, so be it. We totally went out of like, I think that's exposure. The exposure just went like sky high because, you know, this is a DSLR. There's no like, I mean, there are automatic settings, but um, automatic stuff is for for normal people. <laughs> we're not normal. But anyways, we're gonna go mountain biking. Purdue has some trails uh, we were running and walking on this morning. Um, so we're gonna go check those out, see what it's like. I haven't ridden a bike, like I said, in seven years. So we're gonna see what that's like. 
Um, yeah, hopefully we have a good time. Um, I'll see you once we get there. All right, guys. Uh, we got to where we're supposed to be. Um, I figured this, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. But uh, it actually says no bikes, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just ride. Um, but then again, I have to realize that my girlfriend is also here. Um, I don't think we'll get in trouble at all. We'll just be told to leave. See, that's what I think. You know, if they do come out, what are they gonna do? I'm gonna say hey. You're not supposed to ride. And, if, and you know what I'm, we're going to say? The same thing everyone says. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the sign. Right? Hey, what's up, guys? All right. Uh, we pretty much showered, ate, all that after uh, my bike's back there. It's, uh, I basically have no room in my apartment now. But we're on, we're on our way to Starbucks. We're going to get that script done. All right, guys. Uh, we're looking orange right now because it's legitimately... It's yellow, orangish right now. Um, we're on our way to, where are we going? The Union. No, we're not. We're going to Gray House Coffee. I thought we were going to the Union. No, no, we're going to go to the Gray House first. Okay. That's fine. And then if the Union, as or if the Gray House is a killing. As long as they have coffee. Yeah, uh, the Starbucks obviously doesn't stay open till like midnight. Like everybody else, they close at 8. Um, I don't understand how that makes sense at all, but they do. Yet the union here at Purdue is open till midnight or 2 a.m. I'm not really sure. There's two different times that we saw. Um, but we're going to a different coffee house, so we're on our way there. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Aubrey and I are currently at the coffee shop. It's uh, called Gray House on Purdue's uh, campus. Um, pretty good place, really. I like it a lot. Um, we're currently working on our script, having a pretty pretty good go at it. We're making some progress, but uh, it looks like this video is not going to be able to come out next weekend because I forgot I have a full weekend responsibility that I have to um, be there for. Okay guys, we're like all fucked up in this car. It's the end of, it's the end of Saturday. Tomorrow is going to be another good day. We're going to do traveling back to Kokomo, probably some more biking. Um, editing, you know, stuff like that, more planning, more scripting. Alright guys, uh, be awesome, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.